gauntlet area is complex. It was meant to be. Okay, this is a this puzzle. <laughs> this is the puzzle right here. This is what I thought the entire game was gonna be. I'm gonna need a passcode to open these bridges, aren't I? So the number five is one plus four. They have like a base four numbering system. Oh, you know what? This is Rivet. This is a school in Rivet teaching us an alien numbering system. Base four. There are only four symbols. Zero, one, two, and three. So there's no four. So the number four must be written as ten. Okay, that's freaking hilarious. I never thought about that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what this Iron Maiden does. Oh God, it's a cutscene. Wait. Okay, never mind. Um So I guarantee you that right there opens all these doors. So that's the that's the end goal here is we're trying to use this thing to go all the way through all of these things. Okay. So okay. Since you understand a lot more about the numbering system in this game than I do, I... Here, it's probably better shown than just talked about. I am extremely, extremely confused on... Uh, these bridges. I'm not going to lie, I got through them by absolute brute force. These bridges right here. I was so confused on them, I literally just brute force through all of them by guessing. I have no idea how they work. Let me actually find a... I never tested if that one went down lower. But yeah, so these birds, I have to go all the way back because all the other ones are tra transported to Hunrath. Uh, these, I don't understand them. 
Like, I understood the one in the gas station and the little number 15, or the, uh, it wasn't, it's actually not number 15, it's number uh, 406 is the key. But, um, I understood how that worked. Did I miss a no or some kind of clue or something that explains how we're supposed to know what number combination goes to these bridges? Because I just guessed on all of these. Like, I understand if you don't want to spoil it for me, but like, I feel like I need to know. It's a bit, a bit sad if you can solve the bridges without really understanding the ring system by just guessing, but it helps a lot. Yeah, I, I imagine that was the case. I was ima I imagine that if I actually understood the numbering system, I would be able to, because I, I knew these were numbers, because I already knew this was a numbering based off the band's there gas station. I just didn't, I just didn't know if it was like a number combination that I, like a, like a, like, like a password that I needed to know to unlock the bridge or what exactly I'm doing here. Unfortunately, it's in German. Oh, damn. Hey, Tenton Noggin. Thank you for the following. Welcome to the Dragon Den, my dude. Hope you're enjoying it. <sighs> And I, I feel like now that I'm about to have to open all these doors, I need to know exactly how this numbering system... I know it's base 4, but what I don't understand is... I guess is what is the purpose of the numbers in relation to the bridges? Like, did I have to say, okay, make bridge piece number 1 up here, make bridge piece number 2 up here, and so on and so forth. Or, and like I had to put all those at once to make all of them appear. Is that what that was more or less doing? Oh yeah, glad to hear you are. You went sad for the yeah. No, I I am I I I I don't know if you were in the chat whenever I was uh, doing this part. I don't think you were. Otherwise, you probably uh, no. But I I expressed my own unsatisfaction with how I was solving this. We're not even really solving it, just brute forcing it. Because I, I was saying here, like, this makes, like, I don't understand what I'm doing. I'm literally just sitting here drawing random things until the bridge appears. Um, anyway, we need to... Figure out... Oh, dude, I know. I freaking love Riven, dude. I love Riven. Riven was so great. Riven had Riven had variations on this too. Yeah. Um. The the you learn the numbering system in the school, and where you had to like do a little little, little like weight game with like the different numbers. Or I, it's been so long, but like there was like the two hangman, and you, you had to like figure out the random number roll and the so on makes it go up until it until he dies eventually. It's a very brutal game to have in a school, I just realized. I never really thought about that. But, uh, yeah, no, um... I guess my- I guess what my... actual question is, is what does this- what- what does the number have to correlate with the puzzle- with the- with- not the puzzle, the doors. Like, do I say, open door number one, and write number one on there, and open door number one. But then as soon as I write door- open door number two, it'll get rid of door number one, because this door number one is not being opened anymore. So I have to find a way to write number one and number two on there, which would in turn be number 12, which would in turn- base 412 would be... Uh... Hey, again, thank you for the follow tech. Glad you're enjoying it. Welcome to the Dragon Den. <sighs> Long time ago, can't explain number controls, which brid part, I think, but it's logically... But it's totally logical once you found two or three numbers out. Okay. It's also... Keep in mind, I also just, like, I... This... I haven't... It's been a bit since I played with the numbering system, so I'm... A, I'm it's not fresh in my mind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even if I know how to read the numbers, which I 
could easily figure out. I just have to go back to Hoonrath and do the research a little bit again. What do the what purpose of numbers serve? Like what like do I have to figure out how many doors there are, and then subsequently figure out how to open all of them at the same time? Because I don't even know how many doors there are. There are only these two, or are there more behind it? I can't quite because like, it curves around the mountain there. And so if there's only these two, that would mean door number one, door... There's actually... Wait, no. There, there, there's two there. So it'd be door number one, door number two, which would be one, two, which would turn into 12. And so I do I write the... I'm going to try that. Do I write the base for equivalent for 12? Have I gone this way? Wait, did I go this way? I don't think I went this way. Hold on. Aha, another one. So if, if I remember right, base one was this, right? Wait, was that one or was this was this one? Hold on, yeah, there we go. So this was one, right? No. So here we are. <laughs> I am going to attempt to teach and share my understanding of the billion numbering system as of completion of abduction. This explanation is after the fact and thus the footage of me solving this bridge is me not getting or understanding it. I will interlace footage of me and Tech brainstorming on the bridge with these segments of explanation of the number system to break up the monotony of both me staring at a bridge for the majority of this episode and the monotony of me explaining alien math. This will also allow you, if you don't already have a understanding, to try and piece things together yourself as the episode goes on. This is this is this is what he's this is this is what uh This is what Tech just put in the chat is a cheat key for the <laughs> for the uh for the numbering system. So what I need to do is I need to figure out 12, which would be Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, which would be the third one. Yeah, so what zeros, nothing's connected. One is let's refresh real quick. We already know the numbering system is base four, meaning that the only digits we can work with are zero, one, two and three and combining those in some way will give us other numbers we also know that just like the door from earlier these number panels act like a on and off switch for the respective contraption also like the door each bridge segment has three parts to it the skeleton the blue glowy part that i call ice in this part and the rocky bits the big question that we need to solve then is how do we turn on all parts of each segment of the bridge at the same time? Stop builds that, and then two would be... Okay, I'm, I'm remembering this now. That's two. So that builds the bridge for... Wait. Okay, so that builds that bridge. And then three. What's interesting is three has a one in it. Three builds that. Let's start by understanding the billion number system. How do we combine the numbers correctly? The first question we need to answer to figure this out is what part of this panel constitutes the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands place, or what we would call them in base four, the ones, fours, sixteens, sixty fours, and two hundred and fifty six place. How do we know there are five places that are in use? It's actually because of the worksheet we found in the mayor's office. How and why do these numbers make sense? Let's break it down. In our base 10 system, there are the place values. One is 10 to the zero power, or 10 times zero. Tens are 10 to the one power, or 10. 
hundreds is 10 to the 2 power, or 10 times 10. Thousands are 10 to the 3rd power, or 10 times 10 times 10. And 10 thousands is 10 to the 4th power, or 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. This works the exact same for base 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 is, well, 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 is 256. This looks exceptionally weird and can be hard to follow, but that is because we are translating a base 4 system into base 10, and that is the reason why I personally was having trouble wrapping my head around it. What actually helped me was looking at the billion panel and dividing it up in a way that makes sense to have 5 different digits. See if you can figure out the right way to divide it yourself. I will be back in a second. So depending on how many different bridges there are, I need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like in that order. But I have to have it somehow to where they all are there at the same time, right? Am I getting that right? So like I would need to figure, so like there, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five bridge pieces here, which would mean there would be 15 total. So I need to write the base four equivalent for 15, which would be, oh crap. Uh, do you have it by chance? <laughs> no, uh, the base code equivalent to, or the base four equivalent to 15. Well, there's 16. What? Why is 16 so simple? Let's try 16 and see what happens. Like an unnumbering system where the higher the numbers, like 10, 100, and 1,000, are represented by just the same symbols, one but in different locations, 1, 10, 1,000 in our system, the position is the marks the number, and a 1 followed two zeros makes it 100, in the villain system it works the same, except that the position is geographically determined. Center, top, right, bottom, left. Okay, let's see if you figured it out. Let's start by going back to that door control from several episodes ago. This is a one-digit panel. We can only write 0, 1, 2, and 3 on this panel no other numbers. Comparing the single digit panel to the five digit panel, we see that these five dots represent a single digit. We can then come to the conclusion that these dots are shared between different digits, meaning the center, top, bottom, left, and right are the five different digits. But what order are they, or where do I need to write on this panel if I was trying to put a number into the 16th place? Through experimentation, you can figure out that the center is the 1's place, the top is the 4's place, the right is the 16's place, the bottom is the 64's, and the left is the 256. If you draw 3 in the center plus a 3 at the top, it makes a 3 times 4 to the 0, 3 times 4 to the 1, 3 times, or 3 times 1 plus 3 times 4 equals 3 plus 12 equals 15. Yeah, that's what I was doing. But 15 is not the correct answer here because I think there's six pieces to the bridge, which means I think I think it's at 18. I just realized, so this is going to be a shortcut. So once I get this bridge done, this is this bridge is going to be a shortcut so I don't have to rotate the maze constantly. I can rotate the maze to where I can get from this side to the door toggle and then back and forth without having to rotate the maze constantly. OK, that's that's going to be nice. So this this is actually a very important shortcut. So, and I'm going to do this bridge legitimately. I want to know how these puzzles work. <laughs> I am, I don't want to brute force myself through it without understanding it. So you gave me the keys and I'm going to figure it out. Thank you. Uh... Another way to visualize the numbers is by using the numbers that we are familiar with, but in a base four manner, such as one, two, one, one, two. This is not 12,112, this is actually 406. 
the number that we used when getting into the mayor's office. 1 times 256 plus 2 times 64 plus 1 times 16 plus 1 times 4 plus 2 times 1. By breaking down the numbers in this way, we can then say write a 1 in the 256 place, a 2 in the 64th place, a 1 in the 16th place, a 1 also in the 4th place, and then a 2 in the 1's place, which turns out to make the shape that we initially identified as the number 15. Okay, so we saw... that was... that's 13. We saw 14, which was this. Which puts the ice back onto the first one. And then if we do... 15. I, I think I'm getting how this works now. So... You make the bridge, the next base pushes it forward, then you remake the bridge, the next base pushes it forward, make the bridge, the next base... Okay, I kind of see how this is working. And I could figure it out if I knew how many bridges there were supposed to be. Because, uh, like, all the bridges are, like, different height or different lengths, right? One, two, three, four, five? That one's five which you think would be 15. But it's not 15 because this is already... Four... Or no. This is 15. So... If I break all this up... And I make 16... What was I going to do? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, there is, there is, there is definitely five here. What's, what did you do? Hold on. No, I just, I just want 16. It automatically draws those. So now that we hopefully have a decent understanding of how to read and write the Villian number system, how do we solve the bridge? Well, let's think back to the door we solved to initially get into Moray. It had a three on it, and all three parts of the door were fabricated. Then, when we wrote zero, it defabricated all parts. We are trying to do the inverse on a larger scale. We are trying to make several segments with all three parts appear at once. Earlier, I deduced that there were five or six sections of the bridge, and we can tell it will more likely be five due to the limitation of the panel, each digit of a number representing one segment of the bridge. And how do we make all parts of a segment appear? The skeleton is one, the ice is two, and the rocks are three. So we need to write a three in all digits to fully fabricate the bridge. What makes a complete bridge part for a low number so skeleton plus the blue... I'm, I'm calling the blue thingy ice. So yeah, there's three parts to, the, to each bridge piece. There's the skeleton, there's the ice, and then there's like the little rocky ridges on the outside. And for the first piece, it is... Uh, obviously, zero is nothing. Number one is the first skeleton. Number two is the first ice. And number three is the first rocks. And then you go four... And it auto-corrects 4 to 5, so there is no number 4. It only goes, it goes from 3 to 5. And 5 is the first two skeletons. No ice, no rocks, just the first two skeletons. 6 is, I have to revisit, but I'm pretty sure 6 is ice on the first piece, and then nothing on the second skeleton. I was having a issue with 4 auto-correcting to 5. And the reason for this is actually simple. The skeleton is associated with the number one, and we cannot have any skeleton pieces that are floating. They need to be attached to the wall or another skeleton piece. So since the number four is simply a one in the fourth place, it would fabricate a skeleton in the second segment, but then that would not be attached to anything. So the panel corrects and fabricates the skeletons for the nearest wall, turning the four into a five. 
What is interesting is that the final number, 1023, notable for being the highest number possible in the five-digit system of the Thelians, is not actually important. What we needed to realize is that each digit controls one segment, and 0, 1, 2, and 3 control what is fabricated there. So 768 is the fifth one? Well, I'll be. Now, how do I put them all together? <laughs> so, do I just make all the powers there? So, like, I do that. Plus that for three. Would that put the first and the... Oh, shit. Okay, I think I... Okay, 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 okay. That's... For 12... And then 48. And then 192. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Honestly, if you had if I had not been there brainstorming that with you, I don't think I could have ever gotten that. So thank you. Thank you for being there to help brainstorm back and forth with me on that one. I'm gonna give you the credit for solving that one. I'm gonna give you the credit for solving that one. <laughs> me yeah, there we go, back to bit cotton. Okay, so now what my thing was is we can then rotate. Yeah, I, I understand it now, but I if, if you had not been there to help me brainstorm that, I would not have. I don't think it would have taken me so much longer to get that. And then what we can do is we can just go from this to that easy. Yes. I forget if it was you or um, Noggin that said it earlier, but Cyan love their math puzzles. They love their math puzzles. Hopefully, um, the next world is not so math heavy. Next session, I should probably make sure I have a actual, a, 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 or I, I guess I could just use my phone. I have an actual calculator here with me. So I don't have to, because I cannot calculate things in my head at all. Okay, right. Now we have the other issue. We need to, um, open that door. I can't actually see these two doors from here. So wait, let's just... One in the four is... Yeah, just in the center. Okay. Oh, there's three parts of these too, aren't there? So what's one? And we have two. And then we have... Three. Yeah, so that door is now sealed. But what's weird is when this adds zero, that door doesn't. That door is gone. So what is four? I can't do four on this, can I? Wait, no, I can. I just do...
Oh wait, no. Four is the same as one on this, so it would just put the skeleton to that door back. Yeah, the problem is that with the R base 10 system, we're so used to it that we no longer see the powers of 10 involved. 10, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I, 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 I completely understand that puzzle now. I completely understand that bridge. Okay, so now we come to a different this you can you Am I correct on this particular one where there's only the five points you can only count to three zero one two and three Because four is the same as one Am I Thinking about that correctly because if that's the case I don't know if we can open that second door from here. This might only be a control for the first door, which is why the first one was open to begin with. And well, oh, I just realized that was making the number three, which had all three parts. Yeah, so by clearing it, we open that first door. The question is, how do we open the second door? By Randy, yeah, that, that was me. That was that was that was me. I I I I I I was one of those. <laughs> so we need to find out how to control that second door now. What's interesting is there's also this wall off to the side. So we haven't fully explored this maze yet either. If we rotate this around, or if we if we reconfigure it again to be straight across, we can then rotate this horizontally and we'll be able to get to the wall. Yeah, you think? Yeah, that's what I was thinking because we're only we're only able to count till three, which means we're only able to control one door. There's no switch to toggle between the different doors we're controlling. So I think we're done here. We just need to reconfigure this maze to be straight across again. And then we'll be able to go back around with that bridge we just made. It come through here, go straight across into the wall, and we'll be in a new area. I think is what the plan is. So we need to go actually we need to go back around this way, don't we? Okay. This is crazy. I've almost been streaming for five hours now. Holy crap. That's insane. This game just sucks you in. Okay. So I need to reconfigure again to be straight across. How did I have you straight across to begin with? So the way the world looks a pretty nice look. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I, I've, I've already taken several screenshots that I'm probably going to be using for like, I don't know, some kind of something, maybe a wallpaper or thumbnail or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. 
I forgot what what was the piece that we had. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wrong way. Dang it. So I'm pretty sure this straight piece needs to be changed back to... Back here, now we have that little like weird piece. I'm on the uh, there, which will be good, I think. I was I was so focused on that bridge puzzle. Now I've forgotten the solution to the maze puzzle again. Great. Damn, Cyan, the puzzle that keeps keeps on giving, huh? You must have really fallen in love with this one. No wonder you're making me stay here so long. <laughs> I think this is the most in-depth puzzle in the game so far, at least in my opinion. Because, like, the ones that I could call puzzles, which is, um, the rotating sphere in, uh, the stone world. That one was pretty simple solution. Uh, and I had actually figured out most of it before I'd even gotten to the puzzle, just based on how things were arranged. Um, and the uh, the mayor puzzle, the one where you have to figure out the state and then go to the and get the um, get the code for the ele for the elevator in the tower. The only reason that one took me a bit was because I didn't realize the state was lo the name for the state was underneath the compass because in VR I didn't realize you could rotate items. And so I didn't realize you could turn the compass over to, re to reveal the clue. That's the only reason that one took me a while. It eats up a lot of imagination. <laughs> okay, so oh crap, how do I do this again? I need to rotate you. Fuck. Uh... Wait, no. All I have to do is rotate you. I'm done. There we go. Okay, let's do that. I just need to do you 90 degrees. We need... I'm assuming this is going to be the reverse we were doing earlier. Which is where, oh, okay, you're facing the wall, which means you need to face. Oh, hold on. Let's actually see where you're facing where when you end up over on the other side. And we'll base it off of that. Uh, what other like actual quote unquote puzzles are there? Like not just like world figuring out how the world works. Are like like actual like puzzles like this where um, like, I guess you could call the Watergate Bridge a puzzle. That's like the first baby puzzle, I guess. Uh, oh wait, you are facing backwards. So, you need to rotate that way. I am pretty sure if I got this right. Yes.
Which I'm, I'm, I'm actually realized I'm not even known with the Watergate Bridge yet because I gotta I gotta rotate it the other direction and then I'll, and I'll, I'll now I, since I unlocked it now I'll have access to um, the other side of Hoonrath that I haven't had access to before, which is another place I could go explore for a bit. Did I also play Mole? No, I did not. But you, if it is, is it like a puzzle game similar in this vein? Okay, so that is correct. Now, if we just rotate you around, now you'll have a straight path from that way to that way. And now... We can go back and... We will... Be able to use this bridge to go around and be able to cut through and get to the membrane and then we can teleport somewhere new. It's 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 like is it it is missed online Uru Live. Oh, Uru Live. I know what Uru Live is. No, I have not played that. I didn't realize that was the acronym for it. Okay. I thought that was a game in itself. I thought it was a praying mantis at first, just sitting on that. I was like, no, don't pray on me. I found where the people are being chambered. So the question is, who are we trying to unchamber? Hi. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is going on here? Position 13. So if I do 14, yay, more numbers. He says with such enthusiasm. 